<laughs> uh, let me warm up, okay? Let me warm up. I was the family's nanny, now I'm his wife. My name is Crystal. I am 32 years old. I'm Ben. I am 52 years old. <laughs> Not the Balenci's, bro. Who let him cook? Who gave him the green light on this drip? <laughs> I was his family nanny, and now I'm his wife. I fell in love with my kid's nanny. When I first found out that my dad and Chris were no. dating, I was definitely surprised. Would it be my first choice? Probably. Not the kids, dude. Not. Nah, didn't think you were going to marry her. The age gap brings a lot of attention. I think I'm killing my dad. I think I would actually throw him off a cliff if he cooked my mom for the babysitter. Poor kids, bro. Are you kidding me? And I had to endure that? I had to sit at the family dinner table and film a little tidbit for Love Don't Judge? No shot. Crystal likes attention. Sal's really in his bill of tea today, okay. Didn't my dad want to fire you? So we didn't say not to be honest. Feelings are coming out. A lot of people say that she's a- Not only is this an age gap, but it's like a, it's a nanny kink, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the babysitter's over. Oh, oh. Don't let daddy around the babysitter. The gold digger. I don't disagree. Stop. Actually, Let's go. I think when I was Based. younger, I actually like loved her. I decided to get a nanny because at the time I was a single dad. No, this guy. I've probably seen this guy on the L I double R. Are you kidding me? He's from New York. It's over. And in order for me to uh, go to work, I need someone to care for the children. It was definitely not love at first. This girl's probably from like Massapequa or some shit. <laughs> I know this story all too well. I, I hated him. My first impression was I hated him. Did not like working for him. As I was working for him, I continued to look for other jobs. He was very rude. I rarely got a hi. What was your first impression of me? You thought I was a terrible nanny. And then what happened? And then what happened? Huh? How did you marry this guy? I think you're a great woman. Mm -hmm. One day I came in dressed up with makeup on, my hair done, and he couldn't stop looking at me. So I think that was when he fell in love with me. At the time, my son Cash was three and a half. Uh... <laughs> no. And Ben would like play with him and talk to him. I think that's what helped me fall in love because he was just such a good dad. Good morning. Our age gap is 20 years. My friends and family, everyone just thought I was crazy. They're like, what the heck are you doing? This man's 20 years older than you. Where's the mom? Where is mother? He has three kids. You're mid and he was desperate, yo. <laughs> what are you thinking? At the time, obviously, I was a single mom, so it was just- Guys, guys, we can't judge, okay? We cannot judge, please. They're happy, they're in love. If they're happy, leave them alone. Me and Cash. I think me and Ben get along well now, but when I was like eight or nine, I just didn't like him and I resented him because like I just knew he wasn't like my biological dad. Bro. So that's her son. And she parasited the family and forced her son to be the new brother of his son. But now I think we have a good relationship. Cashton has uh, been through a lot and um, he's, uh, he's grown up to be a fine young man. When my kids first found out I was dating Crystal, at first they treated it as just, you know, another girl that dad's dating, you know. I did unfortunately date a lot of women. It really affected the oldest one the most. She didn't like the idea at all. She said, you went from being my best friend to being with my dad. I wonder if he was divorced and he's like, oh, I, I know how to fucking get some, get some puss. Why don't I hire a nanny? Yeah, let me hire a nanny. And it's like, that's like his game, you know what I'm saying? He can just like start the grooming process. <laughs> I wonder if he was like dating around and he just, he's too corn brained and he, he took it a little too far. That's uh, a nice version of saying it. <laughs> she was very upset. Dude, I, 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 don't, I don't like the glee, the jolliness that these older men get with younger women. I hate it. I hate it. I don't know why. Uh, Filion's a white knight. No. You're like you're like a demon to me. I I see I see how you move. <laughs> but we're fine now, so it's okay. 
So we're getting ready to make some burgers. We're gonna have lunch with Sal and Cash. Sal is my stepson. I was 23 when I started nannying for Sal. And Sal, I believe, was 12. I think Sal's initial reaction was he was happy. But he might say otherwise. I don't know. I truly don't remember. When I first found out that my dad and Crystal were dating, I was definitely surprised she was my nanny. Some people thought it was weird that the age gap was really large. My dad brought a lot of women home, so I just thought it's just another 20. What are you doing, stepson? <laughs> this is this is a Brazzers plot. I'm sorry. This is not real. 23 year old he brought home. Crystal spoiled me a lot. She bought me a lot of games and gifts. I guess to bribe me. She was just uh, sometimes spiteful. I guess she was just immature. I didn't really think anything of it. I didn't think that they were gonna get married. Would it be my first choice? Probably not, but uh, that's life, so. So dad, did you always have a crush on Crystal or did it just happen? Dude, I hope this kid just lets it fly. <laughs> I hope he starts spilling all the tea and opens all the cans of worms. I think it developed into a, into a crush. It took a while, like a few months. What did you like about her in, from the start? I recognized she was good looking. I got to know her, she was a good person. Has a good heart, can't say that, right? Can you say she doesn't have a good heart? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's no way. He's gonna, he's, he's on one, he's gonna do it. Like when she hurt you intentionally. Thanks, Alpha. Really? You think she would hurt you intentionally? Has she hurt you intentionally? I remember her not driving me to school. Oh my God, you're still not over this. She told me she would never drive me to school, but she would drive cash and like 20 minutes later. Damn. Do you think she did that because you- Favoritism, playing favorites, spiting the biological son. You're her stepson and cash is not? I don't know the answer to it. I think that's how you feel. If I had to guess. It was like therapy. And you still hold it against them. Definitely. It sounds like I do. Yeah, I think so. So what made you like my dad? What's not the like? He's a great dad. Did you see that though? Bro, he asked her a question and he goes, what's not to like? Oh. At the time? I mean, yeah, he was he coming was... home at like 7 p.m. So. Didn't my dad want to fire you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't cooking and cleaning enough, apparently. At all. Dude, he was, he, he was trying to vet a trad wife. She wasn't cooking and cleaning and he was gonna fire her. Or at all. Didn't, didn't your mom cook one of the, the dinners and brought it home to you? <laughs> oh my God, Sal. Sal, so really? Yeah, there's something going on. This is tense. <laughs> I'm like sweating and cold right now. This whole thing is off. You gonna spill a tea today, okay. <laughs> I thought that was you. Who else would it be? We brought a lot of women home. But she won't let me communicate with the new nannies. I'm gonna lose them how I got them. <laughs> they would be like, oh, can I have Ben's number? And I'm Yo, like- Yo, this kid. <laughs> this kid's fire, bro. He's spitting knives. Like, no, you don't need Ben's number. <laughs> you talk to me. <laughs> no need for that. So Sal, how did you feel when you first found out that uh, Crystal and I were dating? He was so happy. I was definitely happy for you for getting a young girl. I didn't think anything of it. Didn't think you were gonna marry her. That's, that's a lie. Sure. Just, I think, probably a month prior, you mm -hmm. had the other 22-year-old. What about her? She Yo. <laughs> what? She's like, she was definitely a mother figure. She could? She caused to clean. clean. <laughs> well, I'm okay. sorry, but... How long did it take you to somewhat accept Crystal as... Yo. <laughs> There's no way. He said, uh, just a month ago, you had another 22-year-old who was a mother figure and cooked and cleaned. Not like you. So, uh, stepmommy. I think when I was younger, I actually like loved her. What's younger? Like 12 or 13. Um, oh, you loved her then? I think so. And then you suddenly didn't like her? Or so she did things to upset you? Yeah. Not, not drive you to school? Uh, yeah, not drive you to school. Hey, wait. He's still not over that. I don't think he'll ever get over. Yeah, no. We've been hearing about this for years. He's gonna graduate college in one year and he's still talking about this. I think my dad and Crystal are good together because the age gap is a lot and brings a lot of attention. Crystal likes attention, you can tell from <laughs> <laughs> car. A lot of people say that she's a gold digger, obviously, with Sal. my dad for the money. Dude, 
Dude. I don't disagree. Dude. Yeah. Dude. My dad definitely spoils her, which is, she likes the lifestyle that my dad gives her. So do I, obviously. <laughs> but that's definitely a, a oh. big one. So I was being honest. He's telling you how oh, he feels. Oh my God. So we didn't say like not to be- He's cooking. Who let him cook? He's roasting her, bro. Be honest. <laughs> feeling they're coming out. There was a spicy TikTok that I saw, something about the bedroom or whatever. And I said, I went in the comments and I said, hey guys, this is the guy's son and I'm grossed out. We get a lot of judgment on social media. TikTok is definitely the worst. You know, the typical stuff when you're in an age gap relationship, like, oh, she's a gold digger, he's so- up. Bro salty, he didn't get crystal. <laughs> Honestly, that would have been a better outcome. To be fair, <laughs> I just, I, I'm such an ageist, bro. I, I hate the old heads. Ugly, he's so old. What are you thinking? They said he could be your father. I mean, it is true. He they could be. Me daddy. <laughs> Someone said meal ticket. Is anyone talking about the poor wife and maybe the children that he left for his- Like, you can't be walking around with those goofy ass sunglasses thinking you're the shit, bro. This guy goes through his life delusional about the fact that he's him when he's not. You know what I mean? At least Sal knows his place. He keeps it real. This guy is a walking joke. Employee. We do get a lot of comments about they thought I was married and she was the nanny that took me away from my ex-wife. But when I met him, he was already divorced for 10 years, so. And she always feels the need to explain it, right? <laughs> I think for us, we just ignore it because we know the truth and I know that that's not true. Someone said, my husband and I are 20 year age gap. We love you. Same girl. We'll be out like locally and people will come up to us at like bars and restaurants and they'll be like, oh my God, you're that couple from TikTok. And it's nice because most of the time the people that come up to us are other couples that are in age gap relationships. So they're kind of dealing with this. No, 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 man, no, man. I'm about, I'm about to get way too trad and based. If you're this man's age, you need to be father maxing, okay? You can't be instilling trauma on your children and just horsing around. Your your days for that are over, buddy. Okay? Where is your where is your virility? Where where's your where's your respect? Where's your where's your fucking I don't even know like Where's your essence as a man? Waste, bro. Same hate. At the end of the day, these people, you know, don't even know Yeah, us. he's goof maxing as a 52-year-old. Hello? Where's your dignity? That's the word I was looking for. But people are mean. What about you, Cash? Cash, do your, your friends, friends talk like about it? TikTok? Do they know? Where's your adult wife? <laughs> Where's the kid's mom, bro? TikToks. You don't get like, your mom is so hot. Ah, so you must get that. Yeah. I get that with your, uh, my sister too. <laughs> so weird. No. So you, you have hot sisters and a, a hot stepmom? Okay, enough. That Please makes me stop. proud. That does make me proud. Please stop. Well, they're my kids and this is my wife. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes that therapy session. There is nothing I dislike about my wife. Serious. She's, uh, she's everything to me. I love how much of a provider he is. I think that's my biggest thing. It's like... I'm just getting like real daddy issues. I need a provider. I need a, I need a daddy. Where's Sigmund Freud? I need, I, I need a psychoanalyst to, to shoot it to me straight here. What, is, what in the fuck is going on? Like, no matter what, he'll do whatever it takes to provide for me and the kids. I think we balance each other. My strengths are her weaknesses and my weaknesses are her strengths. So together we make a powerful team. I definitely think that the negativity has made us stronger as a couple. We really don't care. We live our lives with our kids and our- That guac guac nimbus 2000. <laughs> family and whether you like us or not too bad. We're gonna keep doing what we do. I'm gonna keep doing what you told me to do. <laughs> There are millions of couples like this that aren't on socials and that scares me. <laughs> yeah. All the sleeper couples, bro. I didn't even think about that. That's crazy.